I'm Alan Michael Graves. I'm the director of Project Fatherhood with Children's Institute. The conference is really about bringing those who are interested in the work around um, fatherhood and the issues of families together to come up with some solutions, learn some cutting edge ideas about father engagement and bringing family and men back into the lives of their children. So we had 24 different workshops today. Um, ranging from cultural, uh, work, working with Latinas culturally to African Americans, child custody, um, the Department of Family, Children and Services. Um, so we had a variety of, of workshops that um, covered a spectrum of the population of fathers that we work with. And so I was hoping that each participant would walk away with something, some tool that they then can bring back to their agency and their program to then um, help the fathers that they serve. I personally wanted to come to this conference because I feel like society as a whole has a stigma on fathers. I have full custody of my baby girl and I've come here today to gather valuable information and resources that can help me be a better father and also help other dads be a better father as well. Men are not the enemy, that men are not the abandoners, that men are not those that, that hurt, but really we can love and we can provide and we can embrace and we can heal and we can step up. Oh, it's so vitally important because so many people are wondering, how can I optimize father involvement? How can I get men more engaged? Fatherhood! And this conference is a time where people can come together, share ideas, hear from one another, learn from one another, but most importantly, they draw strength from one another. You know, sometimes you can come to these things and you feel a little worn down, but I walk out, here, I got a lot of energy. <laughs> because, you know what I mean? Because it's not just about the work. You know, it's about the lives of people who you're interacting with. And I'm a father, I'm a father of two adult sons. So I know what's involved in being a father, and I know what young people need, and I know how critical that role is in that development. Dr. Swinger started the program 20 years ago with eight guys. Um, today we service about 900 fathers a year. I'd like to say that he would be surprised, but he knew that this is where it was going. Um, he had a vision, um, and I think he put people in place to make sure that that vision was carried out. So I think he's happy, but not surprised.